It's Thursday! Um, sorry my video is really late. Uh, my dog's stalking me right now. Um, come here. Come here, buggy. Come here. Hi, how cute. Hi, cute. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. This is Jackal. For Jack. Say hi. Sit. Sit. Don't lick me. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. This is Jackal. And he's my baby. He's really cute. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> my video's a little bit late because I tried to make a video already. You're in my face. I tried to make a video already, but it was, like, really, like, bizarre and not good. And my dog is whining at me right now and I want to punch him. Not really, though. Um, anyways. So, this week's questions were, let me think. Okay, Brittany asked if we could be a mythical creature. And I thought that I wanted to be a giant, but then I realized that being a giant would not be that fun. And so I wanted to be a gnome. And if I was a gnome, my magical power, which is what Jenna asked, would be to eat a mushroom and then I got bigger. Like Super Mario, you know, like how he eats the mushroom and then he's like boop, 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 and then he's bigger. Um, but if it was just my power, like me being human and normal, I would probably want to be able to read minds. But not, like, everybody's mind at the same time. Like, I would have to, like, l like, if I looked at you, I'd be able to read your mind. Like that. I think that would be cool. Because I like to know what people are thinking. Because I feel like people aren't really honest a lot of the time. So, uh, let's see. Chris asked what was the most boring part of our day. The most boring part of the day for me is waking up. Like, I'm just like, oh, my God. I literally lay in, in bed awake for an hour. And I just talk to Jack for, like, an hour. <laughs> No joke. And I listen to um, a radio sh show here called Jackie and Bender because I love them a lot and they're really hilarious and I totally love Jubal. But we'll talk about that another day. Um, let's see. Christine asked if we could be a dinosaur, what kind of dinosaur it would be. I really don't know why you're even asking this because it's totally obvious I would be a triceratops. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. Um, <clears throat> my question for the week is... What was my question for the week? Jack, do you remember? Do you know what my question was? Come here. What was my question for the week? What was it? Oh. What was my question? What was my question? What was my question? Tell me the answers. Speak. What? <laughs> the, oh. <laughs> I don't remember what my question was. So... I'll get back to that part later. Um, our topic this week was bullying. Um, that's kind of a touchy subject with me because I actually was bullied a lot in high school. Well, not high school, but mainly in junior high was like the worst time of my life. Like, no joke. I got made, up, made fun of for like three reasons. One, I'm half black. And I know that doesn't seem like such a big issue, but when you're half black in like a predominantly white school with like two other black kids and they're like full black... You kind of get made fun of from both sides, like, and it's kind of annoying, because, <laughs> like, I didn't choose to be this. Not that I don't mind it. I like being half black, because, like, I have really cute hair, right? Look at it. Anyways, um, so because I was half black, um, the second reason is because I'm overweight. I've always been overweight, like, ever since I was, like, seven years old. And even if you guys go to my page right now, my personal page, you'll see that I still get made fun of for being fat. <laughs> But I kind of don't care because like I know I have a double chin, but I can totally lose weight and I've actually been working on that. So um, I'm hoping by about this time next year, I'll be down like to hot size or at least a healthy size. <laughs> and the third reason I got made fun of a lot in school was because of my mom, actually. Uh, my mom was a lesbian. And so it was kind of difficult um, for other kids to understand like really what that meant because a lot of kids don't really ask their parents about things like that. They kind of just, like, listen to their friends. So there was a lot of stereotypes about, you know, my family and stuff like that, which was kind of hard for me growing up. But as, um, you know, as the years go on, there's more, like, awareness about, you know, gay and straight and whatever. And it got better, like, as I got older. So that was okay. But those were the three main things. And um, you guys also said, like, the people before me said... That if bullying was really bad to tell somebody, 
where it is good to tell somebody, like, me, when I was bullied, like, the last thing I wanted to do was tell somebody. Because I didn't want to bring attention to myself. I didn't want to, like, be a tattletale. So if you're actually being bullied, like, the point of, like, punching, that's when you tell somebody. If it's, like, mental or physical, or, like, mental and emotional, um, it's best to, I mean, not really ignore it because you can't, you can't, you know, it's in your thoughts. But it's to kind of realize, you know, that they're being really immature and that, <clears throat> by them saying things like that to you, like, they think they're making themselves feel better, but in 10 years from now, when they're being made fun of for whatever reason, they're gonna know what it feels like. So, don't even worry about it. People are stupid, and that's pretty much all you need to realize. So, I have an idea. I'm gonna go get this week's question from, um, one of my friends. So, hold on a second. Okay, question of the week for five freaking friends. How do you feel about your neighbors? So, if you didn't hear that, she said, how do we like our neighbors? We have the sweetest neighbors. Until recently. Um, every once in a while we like to have parties, and we do play music, and we have drinking and everything like that. Just like every other party. Like, it's normal, right? This time they called the police on us. Not cool. Okay, neighbors? Not cool. Um, <laughs> first of all, so the policeman, the sheriff, comes to the door. He's like, is this where the party is? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, the music's not even that loud. <sighs> Has your neighbor done anything that's, like, really annoying that you know, like, you didn't do anything wrong? So, <laughs> you know what I do? Shit in their yard. I let my dog poop in their yard. <laughs> and I don't clean it up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Anyways, um, yeah. Moral of the story: Don't call nine one one on your neighbors. Don't call nine one one on your neighbors. Or we'll send Jack the shit on your yard. Or my dog will poop in your yard. Poop. What now? I'm totally doing my challenge for the week right now. <laughs> Do you guys want to know what it is? Let me tell you. The challenge is to film um, part of your video from your bathroom. It's the toilet and the window and the sink with business. Our bathroom's kind of big, so it's kind of cool. Ow. Then we have the shower with all the hair necessities, the bath toys for Nona. This is our shower. And on this side, there's some cabinets with the washer and the dryer. We have dirty laundry everywhere. Yeah. So my challenge this week is to film part of your video for the bathroom. That's the challenge. Uh, so do it. And that's all I have for this week. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!